You know what really pisses me off? Um. That's smacking zombies in faces. The <laughs> politically correctness bullshit. Okay. Like racism and shit. Okay. So you heard about in the AFL? Um, Eddie Betts got a banana thrown at him. Oh, yeah, 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 right. yeah. He simply said, I'm over it. Media, get over it. That's good sportsmanship on his part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something bad happened to him. Yeah, also, that woman got banned for life. Yeah, yeah, she got banned for life. Yeah, something bad happened to him, but he's like, eh, you know, I'm used to it. It's happened all the time. Hello, zombie. Um, what can I do about it? Like, it happened, it's in the past. Get over it. He didn't go, oh, everyone's booing at me and all this shit, you know. He didn't sook about it. He's just like, eh, that's cool, I'm over it. That I like. Firstly, I don't know if you, like, read into it all. Did she say anything when she threw the banana? Um... Because from what I could tell, she didn't say anything racist. She threw a banana. Yeah. Um, apparently she screamed something, but... I think it was just something on the lines of more like, fuck you. Yeah. So think about it this way. She's at the football. She's angry and just decided to throw a banana, which she, she shouldn't have done. Yep. But the only reason she's throwing the banana is because it's what's in her hand. Like it wouldn't. No, she bent down and picked it up. So she actually picked up the banana. Yep. Right. That's different. Because the way that it got described to me was... She just had a banana and she just threw it. No, I've seen a video. It's from a perspective of a fan behind her. Because she was carrying on like a pork chop. Um, but that's Port Adelaide for you. Yeah. They're pretty notorious of being a pretty fucking um, feral group of people. <laughs> no offense to those who are actually good Port Adelaide supporters. There's feral supporters in every, every oh, club. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Trust me, I'm a North Melbourne supporter. I, I know. The North Melbourne cheer squad apparently is... Terrible. Yeah. The old man's always telling me about it. Um. So, I mean, it wasn't on. You don't throw shit at anyone, no. regardless exactly. of skin color or yeah, anything like that. But Don't interfere with the sport. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, it was happened when he kicked a pretty fucking sweet goal too, apparently. He was on the goal line, and he snapped it through a goal. So, and I think at that stage, Adelaide were flogging the shit out of Port Adelaide. Yeah, I think so. Which makes sense, um, to be honest with you, um, because the way that they've been playing, both teams, you know, one's playing great, one's playing like shite. Adelaide's um, playing fantastic. Mm, Adelaide. I want to see Adelaide go through. Um, well, they will, because they'll be versing North Melbourne in the first final game. Oof. So, oh, we were going to lose regardless if it was Will versing. The top seven this year are insane. You held up well in your last three games, though. You had tough games, but you held up well. Mm. The other thing with the whole the, the whole thing, the did you hear the Nick Nat Nui thing. Mm -hmm. mm. About the little kid. Yeah. So the little kid got dressed up as Nick Nat Nui because Nick Nat Nui is his hero. This kid's a white fella. He's you know pale, skinny white fella, and his hero is Nick Nat Nui. His Nick Nat, Nat Nui was a very dark. He's the ruckman for West Coast. West Coast. Yeah. And who he's fucking big boy too. Yeah, and he's a fantastic footballer like I love him he's a great footballer mm -hmm. but two things are wrong with this A the politically correct people that got on the bandwagon which were mostly white people <laughs> it's kind of ironic isn't it yeah um, I being a white person as well probably aren't helping the situation um, but he just wanted to look like his idol mm -hmm. and these people are crapping on because he went blackface He's just a kid that wanted to look like his idol. It's not his fault he's got a set skin colour that's already assigned to him. Like, he didn't pick it. And then his mum was the other thing. Then instead of just saying, hey, my son's hero is Nick Nat Nui, he wanted to look like Nick Nat Nui for a hero's day. That's all she needed to say, you know? She went and said, oh, like, started um, crapping on about how bullshit politically correct people are and stuff. Like, just... Basically antagonizing the situation, mm -hmm. which made the situation then even worse because she posted it on Facebook with all this bullshit. I'm like, it's, you're just making the situation. You're just looking for attention. Well, that's it. Like, um, see, the issue is nothing will. Everyone, it's 2016. Everything offends everyone. Yeah, 
we're at that stage now. It's the it's the um, internet generation. Um, the internet generation are a bunch of whiny little bitches. Yeah. Um, especially the younger community. No offense to those who are good and find all this shit bullshit. Like, don't get me wrong, if you're going to be blatantly racist, then you deserve everything that comes to you. Like, that kid, there was no racism intended by that kid. He's probably what? Well, he was what? I think he was like five or something, not even that. I, I thought he was probably about ten, okay. maybe. So he's at that age probably where he knows, at least, you know, not to... Um, There would have been no intention for him to be like, oh, no. I want to dress up like... Nick well, he's at that movie. age where he probably knows what everyone's on about, but... Young enough to be like, well, I just wanted to be my dress up as my hero. Yeah, exactly. And, um, look, I don't know. Um, my, my opinion on it is, look, people just suck it up. I'm sure Nick Nat wouldn't give two flying fucks well, he'd about probably, it. He'd probably be proud of the little kid. Um, because footy plays these days are kind of like, well, they're all about getting the next generation of superstars ready up there and if um that kid's nick that you never know if that those people are coming up and you know attacking that kid he might not want to be watch footy anymore yeah, he might he, not maybe he might have been the next nick he might have been the next next nick nat coming along yep that's exactly right and now that this all this is happening it's probably now he's probably going to be like well I can't like him because he's black yeah that's just uh, the whole it's bullshit like going back to the Eddie Betts thing more white people got offended by that. It's funny, really, isn't it? Than black people did. Like, like the media went crazy over it, and Eddie Betts is like, "Yeah, th you know that happens." Um, there was another guy um, on one of the footy shows that interviewed him, and he's just like, "Yeah, you know, it, what was sad to me was that Eddie just didn't care because he, you know, he's used to it." And I'm like, "Now you're." trying to pull sympathy for your own sake mm. off of someone else's misfortune in their life. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, you didn't mean it that way. Cool, I, I, I took it one way and then realised what you actually meant. Um, look, the media, it, it's fucking the media, publicity and all that sort of shit. Yeah. They'll always, Fox News are the worst fucking oh, people yeah. for it. Yep. But they'll take something that was said one way and take it for every other way that it means yeah, something it'll, terrible. It'll be spent, spent, spun, bleh, try that again, spun every single way. Yeah, like, media sucks. And again, it's the generation of people on the internet that make it worse. Um, I find it ironic that people that are all about um, um, politically correctness, they want equality in the world, but they're more than happy to point out segregation that happens in the world. If everyone ignored it, instead of pointing it out all the time, it probably would happen less. Morgan Freeman's famous quote um, had it, when he asked, how do you stop racism? Stop addressing it. Just ignore it. Yeah. Like, stop referring to me as a black guy and I'll stop referring to you as a white guy. Like, Mor just it's just funny, like, <clears throat> when you get bullied at school, it all goes back to school days. Yep. How do you what what stop what pisses a bully off more than anything? Ignoring him. Yep. All he wants is attention. Yep. He punches you. Yes, it's gonna suck. But walk away. He calls you an an idiot. Don't respond. Just walk away. Yeah, and you know, then maybe he'll go. Well, it's not affecting him, so he will leave you alone. Yeah, I mean, he'll he move may... on to the next person. Yeah. And if everyone just stopped and thought, maybe you know, we'll just ignore that one idiot in the crowd. Maybe they'll go, well, I'm not getting the attention I need. I'm getting from this. Maybe I'll go about it a different way. The other option to go about it is the old Jim Jeffries route, which we both talked about, the hate, uh, love beats hate. Mm -hmm. Like, if you just start caring for that, you know, like not just showing smile. hate, yeah, then people are going to realise that pricks the arsehole. I don't know. Um, look, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be pointed out for doing something wrong. She did something. The, the woman did something wrong. She did, and she should and be, she and she got penalised for yeah, it. She should be penalised using its system. I think the issue with it was is people think she got um oh that looks that was pretty fucking gruesome. Um, she got penalised for interrupting the game, but people took that as she got penalised because she was acting like a racist bitch. 
Now, say she threw that banana at a white fella, no one would care. Yeah, exactly. I'd just be like, oh, okay, if she threw a banana, if she interrupted play, that kind of sucks. Yeah, and they, she probably would still um, be banned. Yeah. Because it's... Big fines. Big fines. It's like running out onto a fucking field, man. Oh, yeah. It's like in the WWE. If you and if you jump the barricade, jump into a ring or try and do something stupid, like that guy did with Seth Rollins yeah. recently, he got banned for life. Yep. He um, won't be coming to any more shows. Mm-hmm. And that's like the thing, like some fans are crazy. Like I don't, I've never understood the whole. Crazed fan? Yeah. Like I enjoy some things as much as the next guy. Like there are some things that I get exceptionally excited about, but I'm not going to fucking jump up on the stage and ruin that, that chance of seeing him again ever. Like Metallica. I love Metallica. We went and watched, saw them live. I'm not going to fucking go up and jump up on the stage. Fuck no, not unless they say, hey, do you want to come up on stage? You're like, fuck yeah. You know, I went to a WWE live event. Sure, I, I like wrestling as much as the next person. But I'm not going to be an idiot and jump the barricade and run up and try and fight the wrestler that's obviously going to kick the shit out of me. Yeah. I like football. I'm not going to run out in the field. Hell no. What goes through a person's mind when they do that? That's Although, Sundays at the MCG for their Sunday last game, mm-hmm. they have what they call Sunday fun day. Ball. Okay. And you can go out after the game and kick the ball. Oh, around. yeah, no, that's different. That's different. I mean, in the middle of a game. Yeah. You're not going to fucking be an idiot and run It's good that they still do that. For, you know, to take your kids out to the footy. Because for some reason, kids always bring the football to the footy. Why not? Spend, well, because you you're going to be sitting there watching the footy. You're not going to have a chance to kick it. You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, I think the more the more the reason is the opportunity that maybe one of your favourite players will sign it. Yeah, that's true. If you're, if you're lucky enough to be up the front and not, you know, next to the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all of us are that lucky, mate. <laughs> all right, well, I think we're finished with this rant and uh, we're finished with this episode. So, uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and die. Fucking oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> like and comment and don't be racist. Don't be an idiot. Don't be politically correct. Well, within reason. It's okay to... Moderation. It's o- <laughs> it's okay to think that someone something said is not good, but it's not good to make become just pointed out and act like a fucking cockwit, I suppose, about it. Pull your head in, Australia. Yeah. Kind of ironic that we're speaking about it that way, though. <laughs> Boy. Ugh. Is it ironic that we bitched about something that shouldn't be bitched about? I guess so. I don't know. Everyone's got their own opinion. It's it's sort of um yeah it is ironic because we're bitching about something that we don't want people bitching about. <laughs> yeah, but you know the age old question.